The From Hell Letter, also known as the Lusk Letter. Um, it was sent with also half a, a well-preserved human kidney to George Lusk, who was the Whitechapel Vigilance Committee Chairman. Uh, this was sent in October 1888. The author of this letter, um, obviously, he didn't identify himself, but he claimed to have been Jack the Ripper. And at that point, there'd been four murders, um, four women mutilated in Whitechapel and Spitfields district. Um, in the last two months prior to George Lusk receiving this letter, um, the letter was postmarked on the 15th of October and Mr. Lusk received it um, the, the next day. In, in, in examination for that kidney, um, they actually discovered that whoever kidney it was, was suffering from Bright's disease, which um, it was kind of known for, you know, obviously a drink related. Um, the, the author also claimed the at the other half, fried and ate it, and it was very nice. Police, press, and the public received letters, um, which was a staggering amount, really. At one stage, I think they had something like 1,000 letters. Um, this particular letter arrived, and the title of the letter was From Hell. Um, the murders committed by Jack the Ripper have obviously attracted a lot of attention in pop popular, popular culture um, for, well, oh, 133 years now. Um, and this is, you know, this is everyone's seen the film which Johnny Depp starred in 2002, which was the title of this letter. So that's where the, the letter come from, which I'm going to read out now. So that was the letter from hell, hence the reason for that from hell. title. Mr. Lusk, sir, I sent you half the kidney I took from one woman, preserved it for you. The other piece I fried and ate. It was very nice. I may send you the bloody knife that took it out. If only you wait a while longer. Catch me when you can, Mr. Lusk. Uh, 